What is up my valid peeps, Cadian here. Two things I really enjoy are Kamen Rider and Pokemon. And earlier this year I made a video where I gave Pokemon types to every primary Kamen Rider's base form. So today I thought I'd assign more types to Rider forms. The focus being on primary Rider power-ups and secondary Riders and their power-ups. I have also done a Pokemon video unrelated to Kamen Rider on the channel last year, in which I talked about what my ideal Pokemon team would be in the Pokemon world. With all that being said, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share this video, join my Patreon for £2 a month to see my videos early, and without further ado, let's get started. We'll begin with Heisei, specifically Phase 1. And first up is Kuga. Since Rising Mighty and Amazing Mighty are evolutions of Kuga's mighty form, they are both bug fighting type like it, though I decided to make ultimate form a bug dark type due to it being a hard to control form that risks Kuga going berserk and becoming destructive like Daguva. Moving on to Agito, first up is Trinity form, which has the fire flying type. Fire is from the flame side, and flying is from the storm side, completely overriding ground form's dragon fighting type. For the super form, burning, Agito gets the dragon type back, and from the name alone it should be obvious it's also fire type. In Shining form, Agito becomes Dragon Psychic type. With the name and power set Shining has, I thought Psychic type would be the most appropriate for it. First secondary rider for the video, with G3 and his final form G3X. Bug Steel seems like the best choice for both forms of the Cougar inspired Exosuit Rider, honestly. Adventing with Ryuki, firstly is Ryuki Survive. Its motifs don't change a whole lot from base Ryuki, so Fire Dragon type seems fine here. For Knight and Knight Survive, being based on a Knight with metallic armour, Fighting Steel seems perfect. Now this will be a quick and easy one, for Fi's Axel, Fi's Blaster and Kaiser, they all get the electric type just like base Fi's. Their futuristic designs and gadgets don't really demand a change in type. Blades turned up, and for Jack form, Steel Flying fits best. While he still has metallic armour and wields a sword, he's now capable of flight. King Form though restores Blade's original steel fighting type, it's a very fitting type for him. <laughs> as for Garanan and his Jack form, they have the same typings as Blade's equivalent forms for the exact same reasonings. Despite wielding a gun rather than a sword, it still works I'd say. On to the Heroic Oni next, they all still have the fighting type for obvious reasons, though their secondary typings all differ. For Hibikikura Knight, it gets the fire type since this form's transformation involved crimson flames burning across his body, and more of his attacks involve fire, I just feel it goes the best with Hibiki's super form. Arm Tupiki is an easy one, being Hibiki covered in metallic armour, fighting steel sounds just right. And as for Ibuki, fighting dark is his type for the same reasons as base Hibiki. Casting off with Kabuto, his hyper form along with Gatax Rider and hyper forms all get the exact same typing. Bug fighting. They're all bug themed forms that fight against the evil worms. We've arrived at Deno, and it's another case of a common typing between all his power up forms and Xeranos. Fighting Psychic. They're all great fighters, and Psychic I feel still fits them. Even if Xeranos isn't possessed by an imagining either Altair form or Zero form, he's from a time travelling season, so it'd feel rather out of place not to assign them the Psychic type. Wake up, it's Kiva! All of Kiva's covered forms here keep the fighting type, because they still fight for the side of good. Dogabaki keeps the base form's dark type because it involves multiple horror themed monsters. Emperor form, and by extension Dogabaki Emperor form, replaced the dark type with the steel type for similar reasons to armed Hibiki. They're just Kiva covered in metallic armour. Fisting on with Ixa and Rising Ixa, I feel just one type was needed for Kiva's secondary rider in his power up, being the fighting type. He fights against the evil Fangai just like Kiva does, though I'd like him he's not based on the monster. And Ixa is based on the Crusader, so it just the fighting type on its own just fits in perfectly, honestly. <laughs> Finally for Heisei Phase 1, we have Decade's two complete forms, The End and his complete form also. They're all good fighters and their utilisation of past riders' powers along with their ability to travel between worlds easily makes all four of these forms fighting psychic type just like base Decade. Moving on to phase 2 now, starting with doubles power ups we got Fang Joker. Fighting type is tied to the Joker half so that one's obvious. 
But for the new Fang half, I assigned the Dragon type because the Fang memory and Fang Joker itself are both wild like a rampant dinosaur. And also the Fang memory itself is kind of based on the dinosaur. As for both versions of Extreme, it reacquires Cyclone Joker's flying fighting type. The flying type being tied to the Cyclone half. And I don't really feel the need to give the Extreme Center a typing. As for Axel, all three of his forms, Base, Trial and Booster, get the Steel Fighting type. Steel because he's based on the bike, and Fighting because he's a police officer who fights for justice. Counting up the medals with O's, first up is Touch a Door combo, which I've given the Flying Fire type. Flying first because the form is based on birds, and Fire because the form also has a Phoenix motif. For Puto Tira, this was easy. The form is based on prehistoric reptiles and it's a very wild berserker. So Dragon Dark type for this one. Super Tataba is a quick one, normal bug, it's simply a powered up Tataba combo. And as for Tatador combo Eternity, same typing as regular Tatador for the same reasons as well. Now for Birth, along with his power ups, Birthday and Birth X. They all have the common typing of Steel, Base Birth and Birthday being only that type. Honestly, no other type really fits this metallic rider with metallic weapons. Birth X though, in addition to being the Steel type, is also Bug type, due to the use of the Arthropod Picasso combo medals used in this form. It's space time! So all the forms being covered for Forza have the Psychic type, due to the space and or astronaut motifs. Magnet States is primarily Steel type though, due to the Magnet motif and powers. Cosmic States has access to so many powers, Pure Psychic fits it just fine. As for the other forms, both of Meteor's forms and Meteor Fusion States are primarily fighting type. The former because Meteor is a very proficient martial artist, and the latter because it's a fusion between Forza and Meteor's powers. Meteor Nadashiko Fusion States is a fusion of free riders that all fit into the psychic type with nothing else needed. It's showtime! Flame Dragon is a really easy one, the typing actually being in the name, so Fire Dragon. All Dragon ditches the fire type though, now being pure dragon type due to using dragon parts from other elemental styles. For the three versions of Infinity Style, they all have the psychic type due to being purely about magic with no specific element, and the two dragon versions of it are psychic dragon type for visually obvious reasons. For Beast and his final form, Beast Hyper, I thought normal psychic fit best because they're both based on lions, and of course have access to magic. Gaim, you think all the forms would be the same type combo, but while Jimba Lemon, Kachidoki, and both of Baron's forms here all fit the grass fighting type that base Gaim had, Kiwami Arms has godlike powers, so I don't really feel grass fits it anymore. While fighting still does, psychic is now the primary type representing the incredible power in our wields. Much like Drive and Mac themselves, this is a very quick one. Steel Fighting Type. All the forms seen here are based on vehicles and both riders fight for justice. Opening Eyes with Ghost. As a preface, all the forms for Ghost have the Ghost Type as their primary. While Grateful Damage and Base Spectre are just that and nothing else, Tokon Boost is also Fire Type due to the fiery motifs present. Mugen Damashi wields the power of various emotions in its finishes, and together with the form's design, I just feel the fairy type is the perfect secondary type for it. As for Spectre's power-ups, Houdini Damashi is secondary psychic type because it's based on the magician, and Deep Spectre and Sin Spectre are both secondary dark type. The former because of its connection to the Gamizers, and the latter because it wields the power of the seven deadly sins in its finishes. Leveling up to x -Aid, Double Action Gamer and Muteki Gamer all retain base x aids electric fighting type, they don't really change enough motif wise to warrant a type change. Though Maximum Gamer replaces the electric type with the steel type, simply because of the mecha armour. In regards to Brave, his base form is based on the knight, so fighting steel type is best. Fantasy Gamer is based on the devil and has telekinetic powers, so dark psychic. And Legacy Gamer has the powers of both Quest and Fantasy Gamer, so it takes the most appropriate type from each, making it Fighting Psychic type. Hey all, I'm going to cut it there for now. The recording was very long, so I'm going to be splitting this video into two parts, the second of which will be out next week. Leave a like on this video and subscribe if you enjoyed it, and I'll see all you valid peeps next time.